Most in Auburn has the highest rate of childhood lead poisoning, and this is happening from lead-based paint that's found in older homes. Lead is a metal that is toxic to human bodies, especially to children who are six years old and younger. Lead becomes an issue for children's health when you find old peeling lead paint in older homes. And lead was used in paint until 1978, so any home that was built before 1978 is likely to have lead paint. And for parents, this is really important to know about because your children can be sick without you even knowing it. So when lead paint is found in older homes, it can be either chipping and peeling and can fall on the floor and get on children's hands that they then put in their mouth or toys that they then put in their mouth. But also lead paint, when it's intact, but painted on windows and doors, every time you open or shut a window or a door that's painted with lead-based paint, lead dust is created and again falls on the floor or on windowsills where children can be exposed and can be poisoned. All parents should find out if there is lead in their homes to protect their kids. The first thing that you should do is to test your home for lead dust. And you can get a free tool from the Maine CDC that's called a lead dust test kit. And you can order one online at maine.gov slash healthy homes. The next thing that all parents should do is make sure that their child gets tested for lead. This happens at age one and age two at their pediatrician's office. If you're concerned that your child may have been exposed to lead, you can get a test at any time. Additionally, if you know that you live in a home that has lead, or if your child may be exposed in other ways, make sure to get them tested every year until they're six. Children with lead poisoning have lifelong um, problems in the sense that they have an increased chance of developing attention deficit disorder, conduct disorder, learning disabilities, hearing impairment, speech impairment, and even seizures. It's critical that parents bring the children in for their scheduled well-child checkups, um, especially at the 12-month and 24-month visits because at those visits they'll be screened in the office um, for lead poisoning. If you have lead in your home, you can live safely in your home by doing five important things. The first thing that you should do is make sure to wash your floors and your windowsills and your baseboards once a week using wet mops and wet cloths that you can throw away. This is really important because if you use a vacuum cleaner, the dust that you're trying to get rid of is pushed back out into the air. So make sure you're using wet cleaning methods. The second thing that you can do is to make sure that you wash your children's hands every time before they eat because they're playing on the floor, they're touching toys, and they're touching surfaces that might have lead dust on them. So you want to make sure that they're clean. The third thing that you can do is keep your children away from chipping and peeling paint in your home. You can push a piece of furniture in front of any paint that is potentially a source of exposure, and you can also put contact paper down on a windowsill that might be dangerous. The fourth thing that you should do is to never dry scrape the paint that's on the inside or the outside of your home. Always work with an RRP certified contractor or become trained yourself so that you know how to deal with lead in a safe way. The fifth thing that you should do, if you live in a rental home, make sure that you tell your landlord right away when you see chipping or peeling paint. This is really important so that they can make sure that they're doing what they can to provide a healthy and safe home. If you're concerned that your child may have been exposed to lead, call your child's pediatrician or reach out to Central Maid Pediatrics and get them screened for lead today.